welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to change year on google maps satellite view let's begin okay so the first thing you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time on google earth just click on the create account option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go now changing the year allows you to view historical satellite imagery and see how landscapes cities and landmarks have evolved over time this can provide valuable insights into urban development environmental changes and natural phenomena now observing changes in land use deforestation and urban expansion or coastal erosion over different years can aid in environmental research and awareness and some individuals like me are curious to see how my own neighborhoods or favorite travel destinations look in the past and of course it can invoke nostalgia and curiosity about changes over time now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my google maps on my mobile device instead of using the web version okay now once you are here i need to go to the search option okay now from here just type in any location that you wanted to look into for example i'm going to be uh looking on new york right and after that just uh, maximize to this specific location that you wanted to look maybe um, let's go for ld liberty state park and click on layers now on layers just hover down to the very bottom where it says you can have an option for the uh, time lapse and you can view a global timeless video of, of the planet from 1984 to today all right as you can see when you click on it you would have an option to click on that specific location and that's where it looks like okay just give it a little bit of a um, few minutes to load up and then you would also be able to show areas for satellite of the recent um images okay and you can also click on the custom here as you can see the time lapse is the one that shows the different changes over years on google maps on this specific location that you have chosen okay now of course the historical imagery can contribute to documenting and preserving cultural heritage sites especially in areas prone to rapid development or natural disasters thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next video